Hello and welcome back to another episode of Potion Permit with uh, me, your host, Arch Playstuff. Today we are diving back in after having completed most of the resources required for uh, upgrading our, our tools and items. We've still got a bit to do there, but um, yeah, no, we should be able to complete that today and upgrade some of those from the rusty versions. Yesterday we, well, last episode I should say, we upgraded, well, we set this up so we could get notifications when there were patients, but I can't seem to find any yet. Um, alright. Good day to you, Arch. I also come up with an innovative bath soap recipe. Snowberry, perhaps? Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that little hiccup. <clears throat> okay. Talk, yawn. Do you need something? No, but that seemed to raise up quite a fair bit of um, interest. No available quests yet, but we do have more characters that we know of. Okay, so we can get a little bit of information about each character and go through there. So we're still working on getting gold, which means we can work at the police department and at the other one. I did want to check out whether or not a half job got hot, like some pay at least, so... We'll risk it for the biscuit here and um, have a go at it. Sort 20 bottles of ink. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Alright, we'll leave it at 12 done and we'll see whether we get like a portion of the reward. Um, to reiterate and go back on the, the previous episode, the, the main issue I, or the main question I had was whether or not a half done job would get paid and that's because some of these might require a little bit more dexterity a little bit more quicker action or thinking and um just seeing if it's accessible um yeah so no reward for not completing that's it's disappointing um i can understand it from a gameplay aspect but from an accessibility aspect when you've got you know, someone might not be able to perform actions as fast. It just becomes something they, they can't or won't do. Which is a shame. Um, Derek. You said you came here to help out. Bah. You expect me to believe that? Ah, oh, but he likes me. Okay. <laughs> uh, where's the church? Yeah, here's the church. We're going to do this part-time job, which is just mash the... Uh, Mash the A button, and we got to... Part of me wants to work out if I can... <laughs> Six seconds and 69 left. Nice. Um, so that's put us at 125. I'm not sure what the blacksmith needs. We still didn't find the post office though, did we? Um, maybe we need to explore down here or something. Coach House, Nova's House and all of that wasn't yet. We've got the Lazy Bowl Talon, Olive's House, Willow Waters Bath House, which wouldn't be it. Um, yeah, we're still going to sort of find out. Maybe it's this one. Maybe we've actually got to like find the house. Let's go down and see what's going on down there and maybe we can find out. Okay. Today's episode and, and future episodes as well. Um, I got a bit of feedback uh, in the previous episodes that, you know, an hour long was just a little bit too long. Um, so what we'll be doing is we'll be sh shortening them to... I don't know if it's 20 or 30 minutes, but kind of take it as it comes. Just keep an eye on how much time has passed, and if we 
if we finish a day at that time, that's where we'll finish. And we'll probably put out more episodes as we go. So, no, this wasn't something that wasn't just touched on. It's actually abandoned at this point. Someone may move in. Um, no indication of what or who yet, though, so we'll keep a lookout. But yeah, um, the intention is to just shorten them and make them a little bit more digestible while still putting out, you know, the same amount of content or the same amount of playthrough. Probably just more frequent um, episodes, you know? So there's something positive there, I guess, if you like seeing more of this. Um, I've had some pretty good uh, feedback so far and I really appreciate that. Um, you know, whether it's constructive feedback about the time or just whether, you know, people enjoying it and such. Okay, so there's nothing we can do down here from what I can see. Um, we're also blocked there. So I'm yet to actually work out what the post office is. Uh, if anyone knows and I don't find out later, leave a comment below because... Like, I get the feeling that it should be... Maybe it's in the town hall. Like, it should be somewhere. Which is a bit of a dumb statement to say, but, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> if it's saying that there's something in the post office, I should be able to get to the post office. The door is locked. So, you're from the capital. I hear there's an abundance of artifacts in the museum. Is that true? Is she a thief? Um... They look like eyes and noses and mouths. I can't unsee that. Hey Benji, you want a mushy? Right, it looks like most of our mucking around today uh, oh, hello. No, you're... We can't get down there. Most of our mucking around today has probably led to not being able to get much done, but we are going to duck off to the forest and at least burn through some stamina, getting some resources. Um, I'd like to focus on getting stone. Um, or maybe... So he, here's my thinking. I want to get the hammer or the axe done first. Whichever's done first will be easy to get that resource. So I'm thinking if we get the hammer done first, there's, um, we can get more iron quicker. Also got to get mushies for, um, for Benji as well. Here we go. Oh. Every time I load up the game again, I forget that they split. But yeah, we're just we're just gonna harvest as much wood as we can, make it so next time we um like when we upgrade the hammer, which is what I've decided to do, um we can simply. Easy, more easily harvest stone and then we should have enough wood anyway so that's that's the line of thought there and I think that's pretty um, pretty sensible if I do say so myself that I've been wanting to do is sort of get some thoughts about what games you'd like to see covered on this. Um, you know, whether it's, it's games with solid playthroughs or what, uh, I'd love to see what you would like to see. Um, I, I do enjoy the idea of being able to play more games with a more narrative feel. And play through full stories because when you're streaming it's not always possible to 
or even, you know, um, likely to stick with the same game all the way through. I tend to play games until they get a bit too grindy. So that, that could be just a me thing as well. Which, you know, I will admit is part of what I want to solve with this. I want to explore and experience more games and part of that for me is actually um, playing games through to the finish. He says while playing an early access game. <laughs> this one's because I really wanted to play it. I played the demo of it and was just in love with it, so... Okay. Whoop. Okay, we'll fight the bear. Fought the bear and got attacked by that. Okay, that makes sense. 184 wood becomes 188. So we should be able to get to 192 here. And then tomorrow we should be able to get the resources to upgrade our first tool. Gonna head home now though, it's 10 p.m. And um Yeah. Oh, what are you doing out? Chemist, I'm Osman, the chief of police. Remember, I'm watching you. Oh, that was strange. It, it threw me because it gave a, um, like it, it went into cinematic mode. And I was like, oh, maybe there's something actual here. But no, it was just a, just a little introduction. There we go. Oh. We've got our first patient. Oh, we're teleported here, okay. Okay, the rangers have found someone, it seems. I'm glad you heard the horn. We've gone ahead and made the patient comfy in one of the free beds. I hope you can make them feel better as soon as possible. Yeah. If you can't, well... We'll have to take them to Mateo instead. We can't risk the health of any of our villagers. Don't mess anything up and Mateo won't have to come in and clean up after you, do you hear? I came in and cleaned up after Mateo, what is this about? When a resident falls ill, they are moved to any available bed in the clinic. You must treat them before the remaining days icon above their head reaches zero, and they are moved away from town for further medical assistance. The remaining days icon will change when you successfully treat your patient. They will spend another day resting and can return home the next day. Okay, so let's go check out this person. They got four days. It's mercy. My left upper arm feels weird. Oh, we don't have to do the game. We just need Violet Mist. Okay. So let's go to the potion and see what Violet Mist entails, if we can make it. A mist that quick that changes color and evaporates quickly when applied. Um, I was hoping to get a left L, but it doesn't appear they exist. So we're going to put this one in. And one of these in. And we're going to put one of these in here. And one of these in. There we go. Violet mist has been made. It's like a uh, pressure cooker. <laughs> Hello, Arch. 
I was just passing by and wanted to give you these moon clothes. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Why do you look so confused? Probably because Village is helping me and being kind. <laughs> oh, you didn't know about our gift giving tradition? Since you're new to Moonbury, I thought I'd share something with you. Moon clothes are a symbol of friendship. They're a Moonbury specialty. People love receiving them as presents. We give moon clothes to our friends to strengthen the bonds between us. Why don't you try it? Is there anyone you like? As a friend, I mean. I hope we can all be friends. See you around, Arch. Okay. Alright. Moon clothes unlocked. Befriend villagers. Nice. So that's a new task we've got to do. Right, so we can now apply this. They are super satisfied. Treatment complete. Our first proper patient. Thanks for taking care of me, Arch. I really want to lie down at home as soon as possible. Yeah, I can imagine this place is a dump. Like... I don't mean to disparage my own clinic, but come on, have you seen those sheets? People are more likely to get sick here than anything else. Up the stairs, round the left. More to the left. Then up. Then more left. And then down. I think we're going to the... Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to the blacksmith. We're going to the blacksmith to see whether we can get the uh, the hammer upgraded yet. I just need to know what time they open. 10. Okay, so we've got a bit of time. What we can do is we can go and... Um... Actually, let's... Uh... Hey, chemist. Your axe is looking dull. Take better care of it, will you? I'm happy to accept this. Thank you. Oh, okay. So, you don't just give random gifts with favorite gifts by the looks of it. I think it's, um... I think it's more of a, uh... Ooh. Yeah, I think it's more of a single gift and you gotta craft them. Ah, perfect timing. There's something I'd like you to... Sh I'd like to show you. Shower will help me explain. This is the community board. Any requests made by Moonbury residents are posted here. The rewards for fil fulfilling each request depend on the difficulty of the task. To keep things tidy, I clear the board at the end of the week. So you'll see new requests at the beginning of every week. Makes sense. From now on, you may use the community board as you wish. Feel free to select any requests you like. Looking forward to working with you, Arch. Alright, so we got requests. Quest board unlocked. You can accept quests from the community board to take on tasks around Moonbury. Available quests are refreshed on a weekly basis. Any incomplete requests will be automatically abandoned. Requests for materials can be completed by dropping the required materials in the delivery box located in the front of the town hall. Six tasteless sap to the delivery box. I think we have that. We don't have garbage bags. Uh, and we don't have any white meat. So we'll take this one. So we'll take that. We'll run across here. What's this? Have you tried Yawn's root beer? I'd highly recommend it. So this isn't the post office. I thought it might be, but no. Currently unavailable. Okay, maybe it is, and I just haven't unlocked it. Easy done. 
There we go, making bank. And it's still nowhere near 10, so maybe we could go do that uh, part-time work and then come back. The the one question I have is whether or not I lose the um, the tool for a little bit. This isn't this is not the way to the church. Uh, we'll have to find out though. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, let's um let let's get some some money just by mashing a. Seven seventy nine. One point one seconds faster. Eleven eleven tenths of a second. A hundred and ten hundredths of a second faster. Speed. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run around having sixteen ninety five now. Nice. Making bang. Okay, uh, I wanted to shop, and we want to get the iron hammer. Is that right? Yeah. Iron hammer acquired. Blacksmith upgrade required. Okay. Do you ever, do you ever get a hint in something in the game that just makes you go... Oh, there's so much more to this than I thought. Like, that's exactly the feeling I just got then of, like, I do get to upgrade the town. Which I'm, which I'm grateful for. I mean, the art is beautiful and all of that, but it's very clear when there's things like that. Um, like the, the rusty anvil and such. It's kind of like a nice little hint that there's something you can do and you can learn but now let's go check out this hammer oh just rolled over okay so that's turned them into two hits oh benji there you go buddy And then we're also going to give you a pet because you're a good boy. Um, so you need to do the right the whistle before you um before you can interact with him, which makes sense. I mean, it's nice from the sense of not constantly interacting with him, like because he is always following you. He is always talking, not talking um beside you. We're gonna go for this tree simply because it's got the uh, the tasteless sap, which we kind of gave everything away. There we go. How does this work as a weapon? Oh, nice! Eat faster too. Okay, that that works. More iron ore, nice. Hey, it's the same amount of hits to break a big stone as a little stone. Nice. And three hits to kill a bear. Definitely recommend upgrading tools ASAP. Okay. Oh no. Whoops. Another bear claw acquired. You know, I've heard of the bear claw pastries. I don't think I've ever had one. I don't even know if they're in, you know, Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> I think I know them mostly from like US media, so 
Yeah, who knows what they're like. I'm sure they're just like another Danish or something. Um, up here. We're getting a fair amount of resources. Like, I'm, I'm not... I'm not unhappy with the amount of resources we've gotten today. There we go. Harvesting some of that lemon... That, that basil. That's what that one is. What resources are needed for this again? Uh, we got the steel fishing net. We just need a lot of gold and a lot of uh, wood and stone. So I'm kind of inclined to focus more on the tools first because it just makes collecting again faster. You know, approaching the game with that, um, that strategy of... The faster you can collect resources, the faster you can progress later. Um, there's a quote by Abraham Lincoln that actually came up in something else the other day. It's that, you know, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'll spend the first four hours sharpening my axe. And that's kind of the approach I, I take to games like these, you know? If we have to get through there. I'll spend the time upgrading the tools to make it faster to get through. How do how do you all progress through games like these? Do you do you tend to just um focus on the task at hand or do you give yourself a bigger goal and work towards it? Oh, there's a teleport here. Oh, that's going to save so much time. And that's it for the night. Making our way back home. So in this episode, we've upgraded our first tool and we've also healed our first patient, which is absolutely awesome. Super thrilled for that. Um, we're going to finish the episode now. Uh, it's been great having you all, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Um, you can catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash archplaystuff, and um, you can check out other content I do on my YouTube channel. I'm still moving towards uh, 100 subscribers at the time of recording this, so if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, all of those engagement tools. Smash that like button and ring that notification bell. He says in the cheesiest voice he can. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.